Hey guys, Austin here with 715 Tactical. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be checking out the HK P30L. The P30L has been on my list for quite some time, and I finally found one at a decent price. If you search for these online, you'll see them going for around $1,000, if not more. That's just crazy. I was lucky enough to pick this up at my local gun shop, brand new, for around $730. The HK P30 series of firearms is nothing new to the market. I want to say they were introduced right around 2006, but the P30L really took off in 2014 with the release of the first John Wick movie. The P30L was a primary sidearm used by John Wick throughout the first movie. I'm a huge fan of the John Wick movies, I love collecting the memorabilia, and I'm starting to collect the firearms from the movies as a hobby. That's probably the main reason why I picked up the P30L. Before we dive into this firearm, we gotta give a huge shout out to our channel sponsors, Black Dot Ammunition. Black Dot's always nice enough to send out the ammo that you see me shooting in my reviews. If it wasn't for them, there is no way I would be able to keep up with this many videos. If you're looking for some readily available ammo, still at a decent price during the national ammo apocalypse, make sure you check these guys out. They restock their website every Tuesday and Thursday morning. You can use my discount code 715TACTICAL at checkout to save some money on your order. I recently switched over to Shooter Lube versus your traditional smelly gun cleaners. Shooter Lube is a two-stage weapon cleaning system made right here in the United States and it's eco-friendly. Once again, you can use that same discount code 715TACTICAL at checkout to save some money on your order. By using these discount codes, it really helps out the channel. I would really appreciate it if you did, but if you don't, no hard feelings. I still love you. Let's dive in. The HK P30 is a modern police and security pistol that combines function and safety. Ergonomic features of the P30 are going to include a special grip frame with interchangeable back strap inserts and lateral plates, allowing the pistol to be individually adapted by any user. Ambidextrous controls include dual slide releases and magazine release levers. This firearm is made in Germany, so it's not going to have your standard magazine release button. Just like the Walther's, it has these levers located right underneath the trigger guard. If you're not familiar with using these, it might take a little bit of practice and a little bit of getting used to. I honestly don't mind them. I've used them enough in my life where I'm comfortable with them. The P30 is available in a few different variants, V1, V2, and V3. This is going to be the V3, with the double action, single action trigger. If you're not familiar with the different variants that HK offers, I highly suggest that you hop online and you check them out. I haven't had a double action, single action firearm in quite some time. The first pull with the double action is going to be extremely heavy, but once you clear that first pull, it is smooth sailing from there. This firearm also has a serrated decocking button located on the rear of the frame. Variants with HK's enhanced double action only law enforcement modification, also known as LEM, have no external decocking controls. You're only going to find it on the V3. The P30 has already been adopted by several European police agencies. Excellent weight and balance make the P30 naturally pointable, easy to control, and accurate to shoot. An open notch rear sight with luminous non-radioactive contrast points allows for fast and accurate target acquisition, even under poor lighting conditions. I'm usually not the biggest fan of three dot sights, but I'm kind of a fan of these. These things are so bright, it's very easy for my eyes to pick up. During an endurance test around 2009 and 2010, there was a P30 test pistol that fired more than 91,000 rounds without any major component failures. That's crazy. I don't know if you can wrap your head around 91,000 rounds, but good God. Now I've heard before that HK used to include three 17 round magazines with this firearm. Mine only came with two, but you know what, two is better than one. Made in Germany, 17 round capacity, these are great magazines, and I can't see any issues coming from these. This specific P30L is going to have an ambidextrous safety selector. These are available without a safety, if you prefer that. I wish I would have been able to find one without the safety, that would have been my personal preference. But for how hard it is to come by and how expensive these can get if you find them, I figured beggars can't be choosers. I better jump on it while I have the opportunity. Let's talk about the double action, single action trigger on this P30L. The first pull is going to be extremely heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean heavy. It's probably coming at around 10 or 12 pounds. After that first double action pull, the rest of the single action pulls are going to be buttery smooth. You're going to have a little bit of take up, which is going to bring you to a very distinct wall. 
Once you get past that wall, you're going to have a very nice, crisp and clean break. I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of these triggers. You know, they left something to be desired. I know there's a few companies out there, such as Lazy Wolf, who offer aftermarket triggers for the HK firearms. I really like the fact that this firearm has a decocker. If I was going to carry this, I would load one in the chamber, I would hit that decocker, and my first pull would be that double action. Everything after that would be single action. The ergonomics of this firearm are damn near perfect for my hand. This is probably one of the most comfortable feeling firearms that I have in my collection. The fact that it comes with different side plates and back straps is also a blessing. If you have those really big meaty hands, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that fits your hand. If you're familiar with the first John Wick movie, you already know that he used a custom compensator on his P30L. Speaking of compensators, let's talk about the HK Parts Rail Mount Compensator. Made of aircraft grade black Teflon hard coat, anodized aluminum, and then CNC machine from a solid billet. These things are pretty sweet and you can pick them up for around $180. These rail mount compensators have a very sleek design that flows with the lines of the P30L for a seamless addition. It has five sets of ports that significantly reduce both muzzle flip and recoil. Each compensator is made right here in the United States and this thing was designed after the John Wick movie. So if you're looking to build your own wick stick, this is one way to do it. What's cool about this is the fact that it's rail mounted. You don't need a threaded barrel to use it. It simply slides onto your Picatinny rail, tighten down a couple screws, and you're ready to rock. Fully machined and housed by HK Parts, I think this rail mount compensator is a great addition. Now keep in mind, it is recommended by the manufacturer to use 124 grain and above ammunition. Just for testing purposes, I ran some 115 grain through it, and it had no problem cycling with the compensator. You can tell that this thing was made with precision. It sits on there very nice and tight, very flush. This comp does add quite a bit of weight to the firearm, which I'm sure also helps reduce that muzzle rise and recoil. Another addition to this firearm by HK Parts is going to be this low profile magwell. This thing's kind of the icing on the cake. Not only does it help you direct those magazines into the firearm, but it also gives you a better grip. HK Parts is calling this their low profile everyday carry magwell. I'm not sure if I would use this for everyday carry. I mean, you could. This magwell is super easy to install. All you have to do is remove the backstrap roll pin, slap it on the frame, reinsert the roll pin, and you're ready to go. What I like about this magwell is that it can be used with the factory magazines. Just like the rail mount compensator, this magwell is made right here in the United States. Ultra lightweight with a total weight of less than one third of an ounce, this thing is pretty cool. I'm very glad that I got my hands on one of these. This is my first experience with the P30L, and, you know, I fell in love with this gun before I even shot it. This is definitely one firearm that I will not be getting rid of. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you took something away from it. As always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.